Hello, my awesome and amazing Leos. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Let's see what's going on in the overall energy dynamics. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Leo viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. course rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle the deck to power of number seven power of number 12 power of number six okay so uh, let's see here looks like we are going to the number 25 number 25 okay some of you Leos uh, could have been born in the month of July, the latter part of July with the power of number seven. However, yes, a lot of you Leos were born in the month of August. That is true. However, you could be dealing with a Cancerian or another Leo born in the month of July. You could also be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn born in the month of December. However, you can also be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian born in the month of June. You could also be dealing with a Taurus or Gemini born in the month of May. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. You could also be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. Picking up on uh, strong Aquarius energy through the number 17, Aries and Virgo energy coming in through the number one. Scorpio and Aries energy coming in through the number 16. Capricorn energy coming in again through the number 15. You could also be dealing with another fixed sign. Aquarius, Taurus, possibly again, another Leo, or maybe even Scorpio. Okay, so either way, going to the power of number 25 for the beautiful star sign of Leo. One, two, three. And 25, okay. Trusted ancestors of my Leo viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please? What does Leo need to know at this time frame? Show me what's up. The Hermit card, power of number nine. You could be dealing with a Virgo or Libra born in the month of September. Thinking. Thinking about a lot. Contemplation, looking for that light at the end of the tunnel. A lot of times with the Hermit card, I can get trusted ancestor energy. Your trusted ancestors watching over you. This can also be about building up a relationship with your trusted ancestors to keep you on the path of least resistance. Seeking the inner wisdom. You could feel like you're going through what they say, the dark night of the soul. A lot of you Leos could be working in on inner childhood wounds. Figuring out who you are as a person. Reflecting on your goals for 2024. What is it that you are seeking to accomplish? feel there's a lot stewing and brewing in your heart space right now, Leo, or somebody's thinking about you from a distance or they're watching you possibly from a distance. Let's see what the hermit's bringing in. Yeah, you could be working in on some inner conflict, maybe things that have just been bothering you. Five of Swords, you could be dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. 
And if you're in that mood right now, Leo, where you just kind of feel like, you know, shutting down a bit, maybe trying to stay calm, maybe amongst a, like an inner storm, because we have the four of wands on the bottom of the deck, but in the reverse. Some of you guys could have gone through a relationship. You could have been, you could have been in a higher level of commitment, such as marriage. Could have went through a divorce. Maybe things have been up and down in your marriage. But this could talk about foundation. Four of Wands is about foundation. Whatever you do, if you feel like your thoughts are wavering, you the best thing that I can say is, and I've been there, you know, don't don't become the thought. If the if thoughts are ruminating in your mind and going back and forth, you go from thinking about the past to the present moment to the future. It, that's I've noticed that with myself even throughout the day. So as your sister Scorpio and being a fixed sign, you know, wanting to change things, seeing certain circumstances change in your outer world, it does happen when we go and reflect inward. Working through whatever the inner, I'm seeing this as inner obstacles, you could be feeling challenged. But you know you're going to succeed. But see, somewhere in the grand scheme of it all, you know you're going to succeed. But sometimes we don't always know right away how we're going to succeed and push forward. We just know that somehow, some way, it's going to happen. But it's okay, you know, if you're in a down and out mood, it's okay to reflect. But just don't linger in that energy forever. The best way to get out of a, a slump is to take action. That's one of the key remedies to get out of a, a funky energy. So if it's about your creative pursuits, you could be, you know, sometimes um, I can even look at this with the hermit and reflection. I get a lot of writing or author type of energy sometimes off of the hermit because it's reflection um, you could be going through like a writer's block if you're an author and you've been wanting to write a book. You could be going through the writer's block, a creative block right now. That will all soon dissolve eventually. Okay, sometimes it can be just a matter of taking a walk, taking a step back, taking a break. Sometimes we have to do that. You know, we can get so gung-ho on something and then all of a sudden it's like a screeching halt and you're like, Oh my God, now I don't know what the next step is. Sometimes it's just because we're, we're pushing ourselves beyond limitations. And then it's like, oh, needle off the record. And then sometimes you feel like you could be back at square one, you know. So whatever the inner conflict is, Leo, I do feel you will get out of it. It's a matter of time. But maybe also gaining a new perspective. Maybe look at your situation from a different angle. The light will be at the end of the tunnel. You know, you can decide too, if I'm ta you know, talking in metaphor here. You can either be, it's a choice, you can either be the hermit or are you the shining light? Are you the lantern? That in itself, too, is a choice. Or are you both? Do you have that duality? You have, you're in hermit mode, but you're also the lantern. Could be about balance. Balancing your emotional heart space and your mental head space. So that you can proceed forward, get out of that dark and clogged situation. It's really about putting one foot in front of the other. Somebody could be putting you into a conflicted situation. Sometimes we just need to turn our back and walk in the other, the other direction. 
you could be trying to stay out of maybe drama amongst your family members. You could be trying to stay out of drama with the social circle of friends, maybe trying not to get involved, maybe not really giving your opinion. You could be doing a lot of gray rocking right now. Not, like I said, not maybe having a, an, an over-the-top opinion. But either way, you definitely could be reflecting. Go within. Whatever it takes, Leo, to get you to a higher frequency. You could be in this moment in time trying to figure out what self-love is, how to validate yourself, how to feel good about yourself when maybe people have torn you down before in the past, maybe made you think that you weren't good enough, not smart enough, that you weren't going to excel. Let's move forward here. Yeah, something will anchor for you in the distant horizons. This is about your creative, I feel like this is about your creative pursuits or what kind of life you want to live. And not giving a damn of what people think about you. The privileged lady. See, Leo, you're, you're above the drama and the conflict. You're meant, this is, to me, this is greatness when you are privileged by the most high because you choose to do the inner work. You choose to become the best version of you and not to feed in or go back or reroute yourself to toxic cycles or to people or again, family members that have weighed you down and not being a part of that. I feel like deep down inside, Leo, you know that you have a mission or a purpose. Yeah, the greatness within you, emperor energy. Having perfect power, perfect control. It's that solar plexus energy of the etheric body. Cut in the middle of the deck, trusting your intuition, trusting your higher self. Walking away, walking away from what no longer serves you. Release, let go, release, let go. They say, I've heard a story about, I've heard the story as far as like tarot, in tarot terms, like the story of the hermit. They say that the, it's, the hermit is the emperor. So once you do that inner work and figuring out who you are, you come out as the emperor, you come out, whether you're a masculine or a female Leo, you come out on top or you get over the adversity or anybody who tried to create conflict for you. But listening to the higher self, walking away. Your path is not their path. Their path is not your path. When it comes to those who have afflicted you rising above I guess you could say rising above the noise knight of cups maybe living life to your to your fullest but somebody somebody is in love with you but your energy frequency could be above them or your viewpoints of relationships have changed 
you could now know more for certain, maybe in regards to a specific person that you could have been very much deeply in love with. When you elevate your life, it's like they come trickling in because it's an energy frequency. Every relationship is, we are a living walking ball of energy. You're still energetically attached to this person or they feel your frequency and you start leveling up in your life and then they, you know, they come in. Maybe this person you dealt with used to drink a lot and that may not, not be your cup of tea anymore or your bottle of beer, shall we say. You know what I mean? This person that you could have dealt with might like to go out a lot. They could have made you feel indifferent or not ele elevating up the relationship. I feel like this person in the past, Leo, took you for granted or they came in and out whenever they wanted to. There can also be maybe like a profession of love. Maybe after you chose to walk away, elevate your life, and then, and then when they realize that you're gone, then they try to come back in, maybe thinking that they can use, you know, some of the old tactics. You could be concerned that this person's going to bring in more conflict, more drama, and again, elevating your life because you, you chose to do the inner work, Leo, and to anchor yourself. Raising, I feel like with the emperor, it is about raising standards. Yeah, moving on, moving forward. Or you may get an unexpected text message, email, phone call coming in out of the blue from this specific person. But you may be out there living your best life. Or what the mission is for those that have hurt you in love. Again, becoming stronger, reflecting, and figuring out what is the plan of action to live your best life and to raise your standards when it comes to romantic partnerships. This person could come in and say, baby, I want to marry you. And you'd be like, why? Why? Why do you want to marry me? Why do you want me all of a sudden? What changed? What changed? Because a lot of you know that you deserve better. And a lot of you settled for breadcrumbs before in the past. So keep, keep doing the inner work, Leo. Keep doing the inner work. Because it will pay off for you. You'll become stronger. You'll have more wisdom, more discernment on how to navigate through your intuition and ground your energy and realize too when it comes to romantic partnerships that you only deserve the best, the best person for you. When it comes to your career, this is about you not settling for less than what you deserve or that the dreams that you have in your mind and your heart are not far-fetched. It's a matter of your willpower. You could be trying to figure out where your willpower is at right now so that you can achieve the things that you want to achieve. It takes time. We have to be kind to ourselves. We have to love ourselves. We have to believe in ourselves. If you don't believe in yourself, who, who's going to believe in you? You know what I mean? So now it could appear that somebody wants you all of a sudden because your life is elevated. But when your life is elevating and you are reaching those <clears throat> personal peaks of success, you may end up looking at this person from the past a lot differently. And you may not want them anymore. This person could also feel like maybe you will reject them. But I do feel somebody does want to ask you out on a date. Because the Three of Cups is a date card. Whether it's a person from the past or a new person, you definitely could have caught the eye from of somebody at a distance. Maybe they haven't exactly made their presence known yet to you. You could know them already. 
but maybe never had a clue that this person had always been attracted to you. Some of you might even know who this person might be. Either way, you deserve joy in all areas of your life. So whatever you're going through, whatever storm you're going through, any mental fog, becoming the greatest version of you. Because then you'll attract a great partner. Somebody who's going to understand you, get you, know you, want to get to know you, is intrigued by you, is going to stand by your side. So keep going the distance, no matter what you're faced with. My awesome and amazing Leos, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.